Yo, what's going on Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another deck profile. Today I am here with Puna, who got a top 8 finish with Red Broly. Puna, how you doing today, man? Uh, tired from work, but otherwise I'm doing quite well. I hear that, man. I hear that. So, a lot of people in the community probably know you as like a moderator uh, in some of the groups, as well as like a very, very avid collector. And this is a, you know, a great finish for, for someone who does all that. Someone who is on the collecting side, the the uh, group administration side. So, overall, what made you want to play Red Broly at this tournament? Um, well, last tournament, the week before, I wanted to try Red, because I've been known to play mostly green since set 2, back when the days of Cell, Perfect Force Cell was a big thing. Yep. So, I wanted to try saw a different color with a new set, and so I was trying the theme colors. So I tried Frisco's uh, Foz, you know, from uh, former 3XG, his um, Gogeta deck, and it I like going tall, so I decided to try because I had access to the new Broly promos, the the, the new going tall with Broly. Mm -hmm. um, back when the green set had come out, back at set, what, set six? Yeah, set six. Yep, yep. Um, the other first time they had a Broly going tall deck, um, I did play that deck as well, and I like, I like going big. I like going up. Right, big, beefy battle card, so that seems to be your... Uh your forte there some people would say this is actually the best deck in the format i've heard several uh notable players say that how would how do you feel about that comment so i mean it's a very good deck the problem is in my opinion the deck has already been filled by a majority of the cards you need and there's not a lot of tech that you can put in this deck compared to some of the other decks like dredge coup uh vegex and some of the the newer blue decks um majority of this deck is already kind of filled with all the burlies that you have to do and that was similar the way to the green set three burly start uh starter burly back from set six you had to basically fit your chain in and then you had the little bit of space to try and figure out and tweak kind of the the kind of extra cards and what other bonus battle cards that you can utilize to kind of win or fight your opponents Gotcha. So you feel like that kind of limits the deck in a way, which I can definitely agree with for sure. All right. So we have four Broly Astonishing Potential. Obviously, this card is worth a crazy amount of money right now. I will say that I think this is actually one of the reasons why we don't see as many players playing this deck, because at, at the time of recording, I think they're like 80 a piece. Uh, it is kind of neat. They're getting a reprint, but it is an event pack, which right now there aren't a ton of events. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But I do want to ask you about the two Broly Sand Youth. So I, I hear a lot of people go back and forth. Like, you had to play four of this card because it's an additional one drop swap, or like, you know, it's not so great. So you could play like maybe two, three. So did, did two work out for you, or, or do you think you need to like bump it up or uh, uh, anything like that? So I think six is the perfect number of one drops. Um, essentially, if I see a one drop in my opening hand, I would keep it and leave five left in my deck, or hopefully not in my life at all. But otherwise, being able to utilize Planet Vampa, which you have on the screen right now, you know, having a chance to hit one and six out of, uh, I had 52 cards left in my deck, you would have six cards in your hand, mm. minus one for the Planet Vampa, plus the eight, so that was 15, so your deck was 37 cards, and hopefully all six are still in your deck, you had a high chance of hitting it off Planet Vampa. Right, yeah, definitely having Planet Vampa allows you to make more plays without using energy. It does get a little bit more risky later in the game because obviously you're, you're taking life. But yeah, you, you do definitely want to try and hit one drop. So if that felt good for you, then that seems pretty solid. So going along there, I mean, this is just the obvious stuff. You have to play four of all these guys, right? So uh, moving along, uh, Broly Unlimited Power. As a four of, he's a little bit weird because you can only play him in a very specific scenario because the five drop says your opponent has to have three energy or you have to have four energy to play him. So I was actually toying with the idea of putting him to three and that actually might solve some of your problems where you're saying like, you know, the deck doesn't really have a whole lot of tech space. So um, how often did you actually get to drop this guy? Were you killing people quicker than, than he was allowed to come out or um, was he the way you were ending most games? I never played him at all, all for all six games. The I entire played. tournament, you didn't play this guy at all? I did not get a chance to, essentially. Wow, that's crazy. I kind of agree. I think four is too many, but when I built the deck, not having access to many people who have been playing the deck, because I think the only people I knew who had the deck and competed with it was, like, Frank Miller. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't have access to what he did with his, like, ratios. I just started off, uh, as I mentioned before, four, 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 and then worked with the one drops to decide between six, seven, or eight. Wow. Um, so, so essentially, I never got to see it. So yeah, I do agree. I would probably cut him down to three if I played this deck again, because uh, 
against my matchups, I never really actually got to play him. And the other issue with him, he has a really good ability to this uh, send three cards to warp. Right. The problem is, is he's a unique. You can't play more of one, more than one of them at a time. And if mm. you're swinging with him, you can't really combo him away to do the the warp three more cards before attacking again. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with that. Actually, that's so funny that you never even played him. I, I think three is probably a pretty good number in this guy. I did the math and like all your different things that search out Broly's, like you still have a very high number of Broly's in the deck. So putting him to three doesn't actually mess with the math too much. And then I'm assuming you also never got to play the secret rare, is that right? If you never played the six drop Broly? So I never really got to play the secret rare, that is true. Uh, at least against my matchups on, on Saturday. Uh, I did not. I, I had a better chance when I was playing with uh, Frisco's uh, Gogeta deck the week before. I did get to play the Secret Rare Broly. That's so funny. Wow. I, I can't believe you, you were playing this deck and you got a top 8 finish and you weren't able... So you must have been ending games just super quick, huh? Um, let's see. Uh, well, last... The first the first match was Gotenks. Gotenks, um, I think by turn three energy it, it was me and i didn't i really just hit him with fours and fives the five drops and the four drops right uh my second was gogeta um essentially the same thing it was who could get to the proper chain first he was playing the the actually set six mm -hmm. gogeta the one that actually started everything back in uh back in the day okay um but for uh, for me, I had a better you know playing four and five multiple times. I had to let him be able to warp his hands, so then he would be able to do it right back to me with clearing the board. So it was a very interesting match between that one. That one lasted a bit longer. Uh, third match was against Dote Kotes again, which essentially was the same way. I uh, turned three energy. I was able to play multiple fours and fives. Uh, then I played against the mirror match. Um, essentially, I never got the six drop. Uh, but he never was able to play the one drop. That was the issue because he couldn't hit it oh, wow. off the off the Vampa. Um, and so I basically think we both got to uh, he we got to he got the three energy because he played first and he gave me three energy and I decided not to charge a third energy uh. just in case. Um, so he couldn't get the uh, six drop. Um, but I was still not able to play the six drop again. Uh, then actually the fifth matchup was Ali, uh, who was my only loss for the day. Mm -hmm. Ali went first, and you know reboot Gohan. If they go first, they kill turn two. Yeah, and that's, then, that's pretty nutty. <laughs> and the last matchup uh, was a reboot Gohan, but then I got to go first, and because I knew I'd lose once he gets two energy, I basically aggroed him on my turn two using fours and fives and threes, uh, and I'm referring to the pearly three drop as well. Very cool. No, I definitely appreciate the uh, mini tournament report there. So this is just more of like the supporting cast. I mean, Yamcha, Yamcha's a card that a lot of people are talking about cutting in red just because like, I guess his counterplay doesn't hit too many great things right now. Like it hits Obuni, but besides that, there's not a lot of great 15Ks in the format, but I actually do like it in red Broly because it's just a free 15K attacker. So uh, how do you feel about Yamcha after this weekend? So going back to your last image, you know, you showed the four Kales and I had questioned yep. whether or not really needing the four kales but you know because you have to get to seven to use her ability right um i only ever got to seven one time and that was against uh uh the mirror uh match mm -hmm. but the other decks i only ever played her and never got to negative seven but against the gotenks deck yamcha was clutch because basically they would play all the one drops with uh, the blocker and then they played their uh, Goku Unis and they give them revenge and I would just Yamcha and say nope go away and then my Broly's would be safe from revenge and blocker for my turn for attacks. Okay yeah that does seem pretty good so that actually seems good answering blockers as well as being a free 15k attacker definitely seems pretty solid. So this is our negate lineup here we have one after image two Wolf Fang Fist and two Violent Rays I, I think Wolf I think uh, Violent Rays is is pretty obvious it's great in the mirror match great in certain matchups but then Wolf Fang Fist and after image I feel like I don't see a lot of red Broly lists playing these in particular um how do they do for you over the weekend so wolf fang fist was once again more utilized against the gotenks matchups with the yamcha to prevent any blockers or revenge blockers and then the after image uh did save me from a a, a, a battle or attack against the red gogeta deck because it boosted my leader you know by 40k um but yeah the violent ray was more useful out of the, out of the three other cards but you know I didn't know what to expect, so I tried to be a bit more diverse right, a little more uh, in well regards rounded. to this. And since I knew Kale was cheap, and there's no stipulation on the Wolf Fang or the Yamcha that your unison has to have 
two counters on it like uh some of the other uh counterplay cards um it was something just if something got played that was 15 or higher or 20 um for example like the uh, uh i guess a lot of the attackers if they the, like the go tanks attackers uh after they union uh it would at least reduce them and decrease their dual attack if they only can swing with 10k right right just making those dual attacks and those double strikes just a little bit weaker definitely seems good and then the final supporting cast just four super combos one champa uh one man on a mission which i actually really like in this deck so i do like that a lot and then two Barth resolute so overall list had some pretty decent tech options i would say like the champa the yamcha that kind of stuff so overall puna um any final things you want to say about the deck and any final shout outs you want to get out there so i would um cut my six drop as i mentioned to three and this uh man on a mission is busted yes it's a really six, good six cards goes to the to the warp you don't have to pay energy and it's a double strike crit and basically they either have to defend um with either a super combo or two five k's for most of the time or and or they take two life and they lose it so essentially it was a it was my uh i guess against my last game against ruby gohan i got that off my life from all the hits he gave me from the turn before and that was my ending play to win the, the win the match. Yeah, definitely. I think it's actually a really good overall in, in most aggro decks. It just it's it's not too hard to get six in the drop because you're comboing a lot of cards. You're you're doing a lot of things with Vampa making you discard. So it seems really good. So um, Puna, anything you wanna any there anyone you wanna shout out? Um, well, uh, let's see. I would like to shout out to uh, Chris Jordan. Some of you guys already know him. He's the one who was messing around with the Broly deck on you untap with me. And so basically, I had to see how to play it based on him. Uh, this was pre uh, the, the the promo one drops. Then I also like to thank thank uh, Ritzy, who just told me to play Broly. And I don't know why he just said make Broly play Broly. That's what he said. And then Frisco for kind of getting me on to trying red for once instead of the normal green. Very cool, man. All right, congratulations, and we will see you next time. All right, thank you very much.